gonna show you how I do my range roll for uh, wool blankets. What I like about this one is it has a center line put in the middle, so it's really easy to remember how to do it, right? Because I'm getting old, I tend to forget stuff. So, you fold in half. Usually it's easier to do it on the floor, but that's okay. About three quarters of the way in the gut. Right. What you want to do is put the folded part on the underside. Fold it into three sections like that. So one, two, Three. And you want to start to roll it. When you start rolling it, make sure you roll it tight. Now what's going to happen is when you come to the end, you're going to have this pocket, right, from where you folded. And if you did it right, which I didn't, you should be able to tuck the ends into here. If not, you pull the pocket part back. Usually this is a tough part. Pull the pocket part back boom, 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 boom. and I'm gonna have to redo this <laughs> no you got it there you got it I got it no there we go there you go there you go it's not the cleanest but then you put your straps and you could either put on your haversack when it's on your hip or you put it on your backpack and you're good to go I'm so proud of her. She just did her first ranger roll on the wool blanket. Good job, babe. And it's just because I'm too lazy this morning to do it myself. So, so she did it, but you know, she did a great job. Like, nice and tight. It's all even. There you go. Nice and tight. It's all even. And she even had the tuck right. So she did a great job. You know, I guess she's seen me do it uh, enough times over the the span there. Now she's taken down the tent. She she does the better job at the tent than I do. You know, I get mixed up on what to pull, and this is why I use a tarp. Anyways.